Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about LabVIEW plus Arduino and that video is related to how we can control the speed of DC motor. Okay, I already uh, made a video that is a simple uh, operator motor forward and reverse same help of LM2988 and motor driver. Okay, but right now help of Arduino library we control the speed of DC motor help of L298 and motor driver. Okay, now let's start first uh, let's come on the connection. Okay, first uh, understand the connections. Okay, now first you need Arduino, you know, uh, L298N. Okay, and one DC gear motor, one battery 12 volt. Okay, now let's uh, understand about the this driver L298N. Okay, now uh, you see they have a one pin uh, IN1, IN2, IN3, IN4. Okay, if you want to operate a motor simple or we can say constant speed, okay, then you need to connect directly here like pin number one pin number two these two pins for this motor and this last two pins for this motor okay this driver operator two motor one time okay okay this is the constant speed if you connect to this one and give a command then your motor is rotate at a maximum speed okay now if you want to uh, control the speed of motor then you see they have a jumper wire in the first end in the last end okay this first is for this motor okay and last one is for this motor okay means when i remove this uh when i remove this jumper wire you see there have jumper wire when i remove this jumper wire okay now you see i removed this two jumper wire you see these two jumper wire in the first and last end okay now you see in the uh, this jumper wire you need to attach a one terminal this first end okay first terminal okay and ignore to the uh, last terminal okay and the same here you see you need to use this first terminal okay uh, ignore to last terminal okay this this pin is for uh, pwm okay means if you connect to the arduino they have a pwm pins now you see uh, they have a one sign that is pwm uh, you see uh, pin number pin number 3 pin number 5 pin number 6 pin number 9 10 11 12 13 okay uh, not a 13 not a 12 only 11 10 9 and 6 5 3 okay this is the pwm pin you see they have a small symbol okay as like a wave okay that is a pwm pin okay okay help of this we can easy to control our speed 0 to 255 okay that's why we need to connect here for speed control the um, speed of motor okay this pin for control this speed of motor and first terminal uh, this pin okay this terminal of motor okay now all done now what do you do let's uh, try to understand you see now i have one motor and then they have two terminal and this terminal i'm connected to the this end okay now you see this end okay and you see i am not using the second motor because i have already one motor right now that's why i am using the last three pins why three pins this one pin two pin is for the command of motor means forward and reverse okay or a constant speed if you need to use or we can say control the speed of motor then you need to remove jumper wire like this okay and connect a one terminal okay last terminal okay and this pin give to your arduino that is pwm and you see right now i am using the pwm pin number three you see they have pin number three okay i'm connecting this pin that is pwm pin uh last one okay okay and other two pin i'm connected with the symbol uh, any two pins uh, right now i'm using the pin number seven and pin number eight okay pin number seven and eight and pwm pin i'm using pin number three okay all done and give them uh, your motor connection here to the one end of your uh driver okay and now you understand you see they have a supply pins okay in the first terminal is to you need to give 12 volt or a 9 volt okay if you have a more than 12 volt then you need to remove this jumper wire okay but right now i have 12 volt battery okay that's why not need to remove this jumper wire connect a positive pin of the first terminal and second for ground okay connect ground pin okay but right now i am not connected here you see yeah, I need to connect to this when I connect to this terminal and you see uh, your driver is activate you see okay and very important part okay now you uh, need to connect a ground pin and connect to the this center pin this is the ground okay you need to connect to the both pin here 
ground 12 volt battery and uh, ground okay like this okay you need to connect here uh, both ground 12 volt battery and arduino okay after that your motor is activated okay now connection is all done if you have any doubt then comment i will reply you okay okay now let's come on the programming okay right click on the blow diagram come to uh, arduino and pin this okay now first int uh, come on uh, take on the and last close okay now click to low level and right now we need to a uh, two pin okay as uh, uh, two right pin digital right pin why because i already told you i used uh, three pins two for motor that is for and reverse and one is for pwm for control the speed of motor okay now that's why first drag a right pin for one pin and again for two pin okay yeah and you can use this port also okay in this port have lots of pin you can easy to do this okay but right now i'm using this one okay and one uh, need a pwm right pin okay this one click and drag here okay all done close this select and let's modify okay okay now all done select control space control w okay all connection done okay i already created a playlist about uh, live view and arduino i think you uh, right now you easy to understand about uh, everything okay now right click here and create a control okay this is your com port you need to select okay okay now you see they have a digital input pin right click and create a constant okay i am declare here pin number first pin i am using pin number 7 okay i already told you and second pin i am connect to the arduino that is pin number 8 okay that's why i am entering pin 7 pin number 8 that is for motor direction okay okay now you see they have a value and same here okay first what you do right click here come to boolean and i am choose uh, this constant okay and you see they have boolean and uh, need a zero okay and they have two option first right click here and create a constant and give you zero and one okay otherwise you can do this one if you need to change then you need to click false and true for motor direction okay it's a very uh, simple okay very easy and come to boolean now we need to convert boolean to zero one okay for connection now connect to this one and this zero one connect to this one okay okay all done try a duplicate now connect to this terminal okay now when you turn off this one then your motor is moved forward okay if you turn on this one then your motor is reverse okay when you click to both t on then your motor is off okay when you again turn off both then your motor is stop okay it's working when one is true other is false means one direction okay and if you turn this one then turn off this one then your motor is uh, rotate different direction okay okay now all done now what you do first i turn on this one and turn off this one okay now you see this is a pwm pin okay uh, right click here and create a constant and this is a by default pin number three okay uh, i already connect to the pin three of our uh, driver now you can change as per your comment if you are using uh, if you need to use different pin then uh, check on the your arduino have which pin is your pwm have a small symbol that is like a wave okay uh, now you see pin number three pin number five pin number six pin number nine pin number ten pin number eleven that is pwm pin you can uh, use anyone okay now you see uh, this is a very important okay duty cycle 0 to 255 help of this we can easy to control okay now for this what you do right click come to silver numeric and i'm choose this one uh, vertical slider okay and increase the size okay and i am in here 255 maximum 0 to 255 all done now this is your com port and what you do for continuity operation oh, sorry first we need to connect to this one to this terminal okay now all done okay for continuity operation right click structure and create a uh, while loop okay in between this okay right click and create a control this is for stop the motor okay now all done okay now let's start to operate okay first you need to connect your arduino to your uh, pc okay and select com uh, i'm using com uh, first click to refresh select and com number seven okay okay now click to run okay 
now you need to click to refresh okay all done and right now you see your motor is not rotate why because in the lab view the value is zero when i start to increase and you see what's going on okay now you see motor start to rotate it's very low speed you see okay when i start to increase the pwm from lab view you see the motor is rotate in a speed you see it start to increase the speed when i again increase you see now is the maximum speed okay when i again decrease motor is very slow you can easy to control as per your comment okay when i again increase it's a very very slow speed okay again increase again decrease okay you see it's a very very slow speed or we can say slow motion okay okay now all done okay thank you so much guys if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys